Hey, like I said before, I got your back at the paper. I'm sorry for how you've been treated by Yeah, tell me about it. We have a great match coming up next against an imposing adversary. This is going to be amazing. This is an amazing opportunity for Buzz. Just look at what a victory over Cena did for Kevin Owens when he first arrived in WWE. He went on to become Universal Champion. I agree. If Buzz is able to defeat Cena tonight, it could catapult him to a whole other level. None of that matters because I heard Buzz was begging people backstage to teach him submission holds. That sounds more like a man who's going to catapult right into a brick wall. Uh-oh, and a suplex. This isn't where he wants to be, guys. He needs to get back inside that ring. He's out there in no man's land. He's got to find a way to get the safety, Cole. I'm not sure he can. Look at oh, impactful slam. Eight. This might be it. Oh my. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. John Cena is starting to take some deep breaths in there. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Now 
Buzz has Cena in the calf pressure. Cena counters it into the STF. What is Triple H doing? Oh, boy, we've seen this before. Yeah, this has Montreal Screwjob written all over it. He's going to call for the bell. AJ Styles stopped Triple H from costing Buzz the match. Shoulder tackle. He's starting to stagger a bit, but he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. Man. Ooh, John Cena may have it. Is he done? Whoa, he gets out of it. He's at another level right now, Michael. Vicious strike. Looks like he's starting to falter. Wow. This very well may be too much for him to handle. Oh, man. His chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. In a back-and-forth match like this, he has to do everything in his power not to let his opponent gain too much momentum here. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Back in the ring again. He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. Going to have to shake off the moderate damage that's been inflicted here and find a way to maintain the upper hand. Now Buzz has seen it in the calf crusher. A move he obviously learned from AJ Styles. He did it. Buzz has made John Cena give up to the calf crusher. I never thought I'd see that happen. Unbelievable. For everyone who thought Buzz didn't belong in this spot, he proved tonight. Kurt Angle. Now we've seen it all tonight! Despite Triple H's best efforts to impede your progress, you have accomplished amazing things on SmackDown. I've been so impressed that I think the Raw audience also deserves to see what all the buzz is about. So that's why I've negotiated with Daniel Bryan and we were able to agree on a special one-time trade. Sending you to Raw immediately. Well, I can't believe it, but the Raw GM has spoken. Buzz is headed for Monday night. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. I wish I could say good riddance, but we'll be right there with him. There he is, Raw's newest superstar. I was impressed with what you were able to accomplish on SmackDown in such a short amount of time. Kind of reminds me of, well, me. Well, thanks, Kurt. I hope there are no hard feelings that I didn't initially sign with you. None whatsoever. We're just lucky to have you here on Raw now. So what's your plan tonight? Going to sit back and get a feel for things? Uh, I didn't get here by sitting back and waiting for something to happen. No, I guess not. You'll be seeing me out there sooner than you think, and in a very big way.
We are gathered here tonight for a very special occasion. To celebrate a milestone that only the most successful television programs reach. That's right. This is the 100th episode of Ms. TV. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. Show some respect for the moment in history you are witnessing. Do you know the kind of blood, sweat, and tears that go into making a production like this week in and week out? No, you don't. Because you've never made one episode of anything, let alone 100. Now, in honor of this achievement, I put together a special documentary recapping the series' greatest moments that I'd like all of you to watch for the next 10 minutes. Please, turn off your cellular devices and enjoy the show. Apparently, this is what Buzz meant when he talked about making a big debut on Raw. This is unbelievably disrespectful to the Intercontinental Champion. But from what we've seen in the past from Buzz, I'm really not surprised. Hey, maybe he wants to congratulate The Miz on making it to 100 episodes. I doubt it. What the hell do you think you're doing interrupting my 100th episode celebration? Answer me, damn it! There's your answer! And now the Mr. Oz quickly join in on the fight. It's three on one! Skull crushing finale. Plus, his big debut on Raw certainly didn't go as planned. Ladies Welcome and to another edition of TV's oh, longest-running yes. weekly episodic television program, Monday Night Raw. Hello, I am Elias. I've got one question for everyone here tonight. Who wants to walk with Elias? Now, last week we had a newcomer arrive on the scene and challenge The Miz. He quickly learned that in WWE, if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. And when I say WWE, I am referring to the WWE that stands for Walk with Elias. We got a new guy here named Buzz, who got beat down by The Miz. If you ask me, it's only a matter of time before he's out of the biz. He drives around in an old crappy van like a homeless man. He reminds Elias a lot of all you dirt poor fans. I never thought I'd be happy to see Buzz, but if it's to interrupt Elias' music, I would welcome an earthquake. Seems like Buzz isn't a fan either. Okay, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we've heard just about enough. You know when sometimes you hear a singer at a concert and their voice just isn't quite the same? I mean, that's not the case with you, Elias. You sound just as terrible in person as you do on TV. I mean, I just realized, I don't think WWE stands for Walk with Elias. No, I think it actually stands for We Want Earplugs. You talk a good game. But can you back it up? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I can. And since apparently The Miz is too much of a coward to face me, how about you and I go one-on-one -on -one right here tonight? 
Buzz must really want to get beat up two weeks in a row. Guy. I don't know about that, but we're going to have Buzz versus Elias right now. Don't change that channel. We have singles action coming up. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus a formidable opponent. Let's do it. This man always makes an impact. Are you guys ready to walk with Elias? I'm so excited. I can tell. become Intercontinental Champion, this isn't the best strategy. Nice. A match like this could put him on the shelf for weeks. Or he could win and impress Kurt Angle so much that he gives him a shot at Miz's title. I'm just saying, it has the potential to go both ways. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Harsh impact. Elias is such a determined competitor. Guys, how can you face off against a performer with such a hungry heart? Oh, let's not beat around the bush. Elias is a terrible musician. He's also got an outrageous ego. If you can get under his skin about his lack of musical talent, you're halfway to a win already. Boom, oh, what impact! Elias getting put in check here. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. You never want to count a competitor out, but things Damn. don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. Going back to strategy about Elias, while I don't agree with Corey's sentiment about Elias's talent, Byron, would you say that heckling could work against WWE's most talented musician? There is a proven track record of Elias becoming unnerved, Michael. NXT crowds riled Elias by telling him to drift away, while Jason Jordan and Braun Strowman got in Elias's head by ruining his concerts. Uh, he's in a bad spot, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if he hightails it through the crowd. Let's you should go with him, Byron. Eight. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point Jeez. in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. to the back, up into the electric chair. Power bomb! Whoa. 
you got to believe this one's over. Back in the ring now. Boom! <laughs> what a stomp. Good grief. This thing is getting more chaotic by the moment. Uh-oh. The Miz gives Elias his guitar. Buzz gains control of it. And he nails him with the guitar. That'll do it. Here's the cover. Does he have him here? There's one. one. Two. There's two. Three. He got it. What an incredible victory. Buzz somehow overcomes the odds. Somehow? Buzz is here on Raw to continue his quest for the Miz's Intercontinental Championship. Don't think I haven't noticed the impact you've made on Raw already. In fact, if you can beat Bo Dallas tonight, I don't care what Miz says. You've earned a shot. And speaking of looking out for you... If Miz attacks you during the match, you'll still get your title shot. Wait, who says I'm not a good GM? Keep an eye out for a receipt coming your way. For the broken guitar, if you get my drift. And they're ready to do battle in the back. Oh, man, they're surrounded by concrete walls and so many other items that can inflict major pain. Throughout his time in WWE, Elias has demonstrated an ability to defeat up and comers and veterans alike, sometimes with a six string on their back. But there's no doubting Elias' ability inside the ring. I just wish he'd take up something like naked model airplanes instead of live musical performances, if those qualify as such. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Bro shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Elias forced to play defense here. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment, and it cost him. It doesn't get any easier when you're backstage, and it looks like he's finding that out the tough one. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Oh, boy, he is rolling. What does this Look. have in store? We're, We're about to pass him. Incredible. Well, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap.
Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. Meaning to have a seat. Whoa! Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. A quick reversal by Elias. Be careful not to get disqualified. Oh boy, he is rolling. Even if somehow you get past me tonight, you don't have what it takes to be Intercontinental Champion. <laughs> yeah, I think you need to actually have visited another continent to be Intercontinental Champion. <laughs> We're A-listers. We visit different continents just to go to movie premiere or the hottest new club. Florida's not a continent, right? No, I don't think so. But it's surrounded by water. I thought that's what made something a continent. No. You're thinking of an isthmus. Hey, you know what? It's none of your business what continents we visited. All I care about... <laughs> Florida's not... I really hope you win tonight and get your title match with The Miz. I'm so sick of him and Maurice running their mouths. You'll be the first active superstar to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame if you can pull that off. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. We have a real fan favorite against Bo Dallas. Who will reign supreme?
That music can mean only one thing. And his opponent, accompanied by The Miz, from Brooksville, Florida, weighing in at 234 pounds. To reiterate what's at stake here, if Buzz can defeat Bo Dallas, he'll earn a shot at Miz's Intercontinental Championship. And keep in mind, per Kurt Angle's decision, if the Miz interferes on Bo's behalf, Buzz will still get his title shot. Why doesn't Angle just hand Buzz the Intercontinental title? I mean, he's giving him every possible advantage. I believe the goal is to make sure it's a fair match without involvement from the Miz. Well, after this match, you and Buzz might be Bo leaving otherwise. Targeting the back, very effective. Oh. Leg sweep, nicely done. Down to the floor. Both Dallas starting to falter now. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. He obviously came into this match intent on taking the fight to the outside as much as he could. Though I'm not sure that's the right approach. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Side Russian leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect form. Elbow finds its mark. Wow. Stop! Good grief! Oh, nasty impact! Oh, close line! Oh, what impact! No, there's the reversal. German suplex! Woo. What is it that Bo Dallas is looking to do to change his look oh, at this man. point? I'm not sure how much he has left. He's starting to feel the pressure a bit. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole body starts to give out on you. He's going to need to be careful here. A very crucial part of the match for him here. He simply cannot let his opponent gain too much momentum. Oh. Right across. Oh, no, we've got a problem here, guys. No kidding. Who knows what will happen next? Looking a little out of it up on that turnbuckle. Now, this could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Filthy German suplex. He's barking about something now. This is uncalled for. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. This might be it. Oh, my. 
This might be it. Cover. One. Hooks two. away. Kicked out at oh, two and a half. Man. I thought he had him. Wait, what's Miz doing? What the heck? Why would Miz punch Bo Dallas? Wait a minute. The Miz is a genius. Since he hit Bo, Buzz got disqualified and doesn't get an intercontinental title shot. The Miz found a way around Kurt Angle's stipulation. I guess you have to give him credit for that. Buzz is obviously upset about how all this transpired. Tough night for Bo Dallas. He'll be fine. And besides, he won the match. I'd hardly call that a victory. Yet again, The Miz finds a loophole to avoid defending the title. I know. I'm just as frustrated as you are. So what are you gonna do about it? I'd like to give you your title shot anyway. But unfortunately, I just got off the phone with Triple H. And he said that since Bo Dallas technically won, you don't get to face The Miz. Triple H can just overrule you like that? Unfortunately, when push comes to shove, he can. And I'm not surprised that he did, given your history with him. All right, well, if Miz and Triple H are refusing to give me an opportunity, then maybe I need to make my own. Opportunity? No. Title. I know a guy who can help me out. You do whatever you think you need to do. Hey, Cole. I need a favor. It's short notice, but... You did such a good job making the titles for BCW that I wanted to see if you could make me a custom title for me to use on Monday Night Raw. <sighs> Fine. I promise to call you more often, not just when I need something. All right, I'll email you some design ideas, but one thing I do know is that my title will only be defended in... Thanks, man. You're the best. Yes, I still have the lucky keychain you gave me. But I gotta run. Thanks. Ugh. I can't believe what happened in your match with Bo Dallas. Somehow The Miz continues to find new ways to be the most annoying person on the planet. You're offering me a chance to make Miz and Maurice look like even bigger idiots? Yeah. Just so you know, I still would have beaten you tonight even if Miz didn't accidentally hit me in the face. Yeah, it was a total accident. We're, We're not, not brainwashed. brainwashed. Yeah. yeah, we yeah, have mind. Stop, stop doing, doing that. that. You, you first. first. No, no, you first. first. It must really suck to think that you have everything going your way, only to have someone who's better looking, more famous, and more talented outsmart you in the end. Triple H has spoken. Thanks to me, you lost the match. Are they bringing back the Divas title?
I am the Miz! And this is my lovely wife, Maurice. Say something to the audience, Maurice. That was wonderful, honey. You truly bring so much to the table and are certainly not just window dressing whose sole purpose of being in WWE is to follow me around from town to town, ironing my weird matrix cloak dress that I wear. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. When my right foot goes in, your right foot goes out. When my right foot goes in, you shake it all about. You do the stupid Miz dance and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Because I'm the Miz and I'm awful. Since apparently our GM either thinks this is funny, which is impossible, or is just not paying attention to his own show, I am this close, this close, to dialing 911 to report two counts of aggravated character assassination. Whoa, 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 Miz. Sasha and I were just having a little bit of fun out here. No need to go overboard. I mean, besides, you didn't even let me get to the best part other than showing everybody how big of a goof you are, the whole point of tonight was to debut my new singles title. You see, since you refused to give me an intercontinental title shot, and then Triple H backed your little scheme with loser Bo Dallas. I was forced to make a title of my own. You created your own title? Wow. What do you think this is? WWE 2K19? This is real life. It's not pretend time. You don't get to make up your titles. In fact, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. And I've seen your matches on the indies. You want to talk about pathetic? I think someone who refuses to defend their title, that's pathetic. Because even though this championship is brand new, it already holds more value than yours because I'm not going to hide behind it. I'm going to defend it against anyone at any time. All right, champ. I have someone you can defend your made-up title against. Someone who's still waiting for payback for a broken guitar. Like I said, anyone at any time. But you didn't give me a chance to explain that my title has some special conditions for how it must be defended. What do you mean? Like the matches can only be held in high school gyms? Or there can't be more than 200 people in attendance? <laughs> Not exactly. My title will only be defended in no disqualification matches. The following contest is a no disqualifications match and is for the extreme. You can feel the excitement. Buzz is here.
Introducing the challenger. I can't believe Buzz just sprung this title match stipulation on Elias. It's completely unfair. I actually think it's kind of nice to see Buzz pull one over on his opponents for a change. I agree. We're so accustomed to seeing Buzz at a disadvantage. Finally tonight, he gets a match on his terms. Oh, I thought broadcast journalists weren't supposed to be biased, but I guess I was wrong. I can tell you guys that this arena sold out in record time, and a lot of that has to do with this match in the ring right now. This is easily one of the most anticipated title matches in recent memory. Beautiful technique. Like you were saying, Michael, when news broke that this title match would take place here, I had dozens of people I know in and around the area calling and texting, just hoping I could get them tickets. That's how big this match is. Isn't that cute? Your friends actually think you have enough pull around here to get them tickets. Poor people. DDT! Lights out. Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being tossed around. Elias got blasted there. Well, that gives new meaning to have a seat. I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the champion has been a little cocky heading into this one. And there's nothing wrong with that, Michael, especially considering just how dominant the champ has been of late. When you're that good, you have every right to bow your chest out a little bit. Shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. When this guy's on, oh, look out. Looks like we got a quarrel brewing. The ref's got to nip this in the bud. Believe it or not, fellas, some people are speculating whether the champ should have to defend the gold against what some are calling inferior competition here tonight. Nailed it. Elias definitely in a tough spot now. Look, he'll need to find a way to turn things around here. This match is trending in a bad direction for him right now, guys. He's going to want to make some changes if he wants to stay in it. Corey, I think you're just trying to drum up controversy. I haven't heard any whispers about the champion having to defend against inferior competition. Yeah, inferior competition? That's nuts. I'm willing to bet the champ started that rumor in an attempt to get into his opposition's head. Either that or Corey's just making stuff up, as you alluded to, Michael. <laughs> Beautiful technique. Oh, Elias able to avoid damage. A big fight field. Pressure cooker situation. WW Universe hanging on every move. Oh, kick finds it. I know anything is possible, but I just can't envision a new champ being crowned here tonight. The champ just comes into tonight with too much momentum. Pretty sure I invented that move. The champ starting to feel the pressure a bit. And at this point, you have to wonder if he can recover from this. Guys, at this point, I'd be shocked if his opponent is able to complete this comeback. Oh boy, he is rolling. Byron, I agree that the champ comes into tonight with a great... It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's going for it all. A 
Elias setting it up. Oh, boy. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Kick to the... At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten and battered. Whoa, Elias able to avoid damage. Oh, Buzz just barely... Counter here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He wants no part of the outside. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. Bulldog! The champ is in a bad way here. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. The damage has been done, guys. I don't see how he can possibly recover from this beating he's taken. For a while there, it looked like he was going to take this match. It's amazing how quickly things can change here in the WWE. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. Three. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I don't believe it. Elias is now our champion. Yes.